much. <laughs> So how would you define intersectionality, either in theory or your own intersectionality? I guess the general gist of intersectionality is that it recognises different power structures in society. When I approach intersectionality, I try to think of the different ways that different marginalised people are oppressed by the structures. So intersectionality is a term that describes how different structures of oppression combine and impact people differently. There are so many different factors to feminism that people tend to overlook. What it means to me is just acknowledging that feminism is so much more complex and dense than it appears within like, you know, Asian feminist groups, you have feminists of different religions and, you know, people from different ethnic groups and lingual groups. So I guess it recognises that we all have different experiences. But acknowledging that we have this thing in between us is that we all just want to help each other grow. Intersectionality is just the intersections between other kinds of social groups or disadvantaged groups with feminism. I am an international student, I'm a woman of colour and I'm a woman with a disability. Every single thing affects the way I see the world and the way I participate in feminism. In my own case, I'm a woman of colour and my intersectional feminism is the fact that like I don't like to consider myself like this but other women of colour are definitely at a greater disadvantage than white women are in terms of like what they can do in society in terms of how much they earn. I think the most important thing about intersectionality is being aware that that gendered oppression is experienced in different ways and there are mediating factors like class and ethnicity and sexuality and whether you have a disability that can intensify and multiply experiences of gendered oppression. The most important thing is acknowledging that. So how do you define your own views? Do you label yourself a feminist, an intersectional feminist, uh, an intersectionalist or maybe none? And, and tell me why. Yeah, I, I'm an intersectional feminist so I guess I recognise that um, the patriarchy oppresses women but with that there's more layers to how women experience oppression in societies. How I approach it is I put Indigenous and First Nations women first. I think that um, Indigenous women in Australia experience oppression like the most harsh compared to any other group. I consider myself a feminist. I wouldn't say that a label that I use is intersectional feminism or intersectional feminist because I think if you're truly intersectional you don't really need to say that. Um, but that's a personal preference of mine. I'm going to call myself a feminist because I don't even... A feminist is a, just a woman who believes in the liberation of women. I don't want to profess that by saying, oh, and sectional feminist, this, that, because I already know it's more complex than that. I don't need to put like a qualifier in front of it. Is there an aspect of feminism that you find inaccessible? I mean, there are so many different ways feminism is practiced nowadays. I feel like there's a certain way everybody could somewhat go about it. It's just whether or not you found it. I have found more comfort in understanding and trying different ways to spread awareness rather than, you know, going to rallies and stuff like that. Can you think of any specific feminist issues that you think are lost or drowned out in mainstream feminist discussion? Where Indigenous women are in society is really, really problematic and people tend to forget that. So whenever I encounter other feminists, I always ask, what are they doing for Indigenous women? Mainstream feminism, you know, of course, is dominated by the majority. Um, women with disabilities are quite largely ignored from the mainstream feminist discussion. We're in danger of leaving behind women with disability. I think accessibility is such an important um, factor that is kind of just put to the side a lot of the time when it really needs to be a consideration. Does the feminist movement impact on how you see yourself and if so how? Being a feminist definitely impacts how I see myself. I really do think that um, it's a really brave and empowering thing. Yeah I think it does. I kind of discovered feminism when I came to high school. Um, I was a bit like oh what is what are women? What, are, what is this? Um, and kind of stayed away from it. It was just kind of this sphere that I wasn't really engaged in. And then I came to university and I was engaged in the women's department and recognised that my struggles weren't just personal struggles, they were structural and institutional struggles that I had. 
What do you think um, some people can do, and by some people I mean the majority of people, um, not just feminists but everyone, um, can do to ensure that feminism embraces and supports and represents members of marginalised groups? If you see someone that's, you know, looking that they're out of place or something, you know, bring them in. Feminism isn't just for the majority. It's not just for white women. It's not just for women of colour. It's for every person, every female identifying and non-binary identifying person who's experienced any kind of discrimination based on like their sex. We need to actively support the women of colour in our lives, the women with disability, um, elevate their perspectives and their experiences instead of us talking about them without them I think is a really important thing that we actively need to do.